Hello, fellow tappers. It's Ella Arthur here, and today we are coming back with a different video, a tips and tricks one, which is going to be on how this one building could help save you from some of your major tap tap problems. Yes, yeah, so that is the building on the left, which is called the Golden Goose Royalty. Okay, and we're going to get into the reasons why now. Okay, so the first reason why the Golden Goose Royalty could save you from your tap tap problems is because it earns land tokens every 12 hours which is insane so if you're a new player you can basically unlock a new space of land every 12 hours yes this is amazing and then it's even useful when you're a higher player when you're earning a lot of donuts and you have the ability to unlock land but when you're a higher player high level player you have to unlock the land after a certain point once you've unlocked the land for cash I'm talking millions, so don't worry if you're new. But um, once you've got past that point, you have to, you've got no option but to unlock the spaces of land with land tokens. And you can only get land tokens other than the Golden Goose Royalty from really, you could be lucky in an event, but that's very rare at the moment. Or you could be lucky on the daily challenges, but again, you're not going to get one very often. It's going to take a while to build those up without having this. And so, also, it only costs 12 donuts. If you're making a lot of donuts and you're at high level, so you see um, this person's donuts is very high. And so what we're going to do is we're going to speed this up, and you can get land tokens just for 12 donuts immediately, and boom, that's it. You can unlock land, and I could probably unlock all of this land right now um, just by doing this, which is amazing. So the um, potential of having this building is really high. However, um, the fault is that it does cost 150 donuts, and then we'll get into so that. Expanding on that point of um, the Golden Goose Royalty costing a lot of donuts. So basically, um, aside from it being a really um, good way to earn land tokens, it is a rare building. So that means that it's not going to be in the yearbook mystery box. So 150 donuts is the cheapest amount of donuts that you can get it for. And so if we compare it to all these other buildings for 150 donuts, um, you get a character and a building. So you're only going to get a bit of cash, which is not going to make any way, anywhere near the difference of the, having the Golden Goose Royalty. And so that makes it a really, really worthwhile purchase because no other building in the game allows you to get land tokens that easily and that frequently as this building. And so... And I know that this is going to be a trouble for some people, as some newer players won't be able to purchase donuts. I'm pretty sure if you want to get it, it's about 20 quid for 300. Or it might be 10 quid for 132, I think, from memory. So you could get 10 quid and then you could get it. But it is definitely worth it, in my opinion. It will mean that you don't have to spend... You won't have to spend nearly as much money on the game because you're going to have the land problem all covered. You're never going to have to worry about it again, so we consider that. And then when we compare it with a building like Tipshimit's Dagger, so this is going to be, and you unlock it with Half Bannister. So it's obviously a really cool building and all, but it's not going to make any difference. I mean, yeah, it is going to be a premium thing to have in the town, but compared to the Golden Goose Royalty and the um, potential that it has to have that building, it is nowhere near, I'm sorry. So this is why I'm making this video is to basically express the importance of having the Golden Goose Royalty in, in your town and how you will never ever have to worry about land ever again. So in my opinion, it is worth spending the money. And don't worry, I'm not, I, this is genuine advice. I'm not, I'm not um, on EA's side here, um, just giving some genuine advice. Okay, and the one last point that I will make about the Golden Goose Royalty is that it is not a building that returns to the game very often. So at the moment, it's only been returning to the game annually. And so for 150 donuts, there is a possibility it can come in the Black Friday event, but I don't think that's very likely um, considering. So I would advise getting it whenever you can, um, because you do not know when it's going to return next, as it is, it's got a lot of potential, and I don't think the um, EA want to release it very often because they don't want as many people to have it for the reason of 
they won't make as much money by releasing it so often. So there we go. And I will get on to the Okay, end. so I hope that advice was useful to you. And hopefully you can see why it's a great idea to try and grab this building, do everything you can to grab this building and have it in your town. Yes. Okay. So that sadly brings us to the end of this video. But please remember to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed. And it would also be great if you could check out the description box because there's some cool stuff in there as well. So thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and good luck.